Hello and welcome to The Wire. In the 2019 Lok Sabha elections, the BJP won 25 out of 28 seats in Karnataka, while the Congress, JDS and an independent candidate won one seat each. This time, the scenario is quite different. In 2019, the JDS and Congress were in a coalition and this time, the BJP and JDS are fighting against the Congress party. To understand the implications of this alliance and to know the strategies of the Congress party, we have with us today Mr. D.K. Suresh, who is uh, the Congress MP from Bangalore Rural. Sir, thank you for joining us at The Wire today. Sir, uh, my first question is, uh, Mr. Kumar Swami has said that BJP and JDS are natural allies. He said that uh, both the party will benefit from this alliance and even in your own constituency, uh, Mr. Uh, H.D. Kumar Swami and uh, Mr. Yogeshwar, we were considered rivals, are uh, coming together and they're campaigning for Dr. C. N. Manjunath against you. Uh, how do you think? Do you think that the voters of the BJP will vote for the JDS and vice versa, that the JDS voters will vote for the BJP in this election? See, this is different type of election. This is not a regular election. Each election in assembly is a different pattern. In a local body election, it's a different pattern. And meanwhile, the Lok Sabha is in a different pattern. Whatever they are may allies, they don't have confidence on each people. They don't have any confidence to win the seats. Mm -hmm. So that's why they are going to ally. Mm -hmm. but in the ground level, people are fighting against uh, both of them. I don't think uh, they will all together face the election. People have asked, uh, started moving towards Congress party. Uh, cadres are with, uh, with me. Uh, whatever I have worked uh, from past 10 years, the work uh, has been done in my constituency. That is with me. We are blessings of people uh, is in favor of me. So I don't think any difficulty in this election. Sir, uh, Mr. Yogeshwar has a certain fan following in Chanpatna and even Mr. D.K. Shivkumar has his own set of followers. So how are you appealing to the voters? Like, why do you think they should vote for you? And especially, how are you appealing to the Vokaliga voters? I am not concentrating on Vokaliga vote. This is the secular constituency. This is 28 lakh people are there. So different constituency, different uh, concept is there. Here, uh, some area, if you go to Ramnagara district, it's a uh, rural area. If you come to Hanaikal, it's semi-urban. In the South uh, Bangalore, South Assembly segment, it's uh, urban and rural. Uh, in Arar Nagar, here also, the urban and uh, rural, uh, semi-urban. Like that, different character categories, uh, different, different issues are there, different type of leaders are there. We have to see everybody and we have to take everybody into confidence and doing it. Uh, so my next question is, um, in, in the Bangalore, if we talk about the rural constituencies which are under you, it's increasingly seen that the uh, urban voters are sort of not standing with you and the rural, rural voters still have like your, are supporting you. So why is it so and why, why do you think that the urban voters should also vote for you and why they are not standing with you? No, I think your perception is wrong. People are think that urban voters are against Congress, that uh, mindset is there. Uh, I faced three elections in the uh, past uh, three term, one by-election, two general elections. This is the fourth election I am facing. In between, I have we have faced uh, two assembly elections also. So that type situation is different, this type situation is different. Urban voters are moving towards the development. Urban voters are facing lot of problem from past 10, 12 years, where um, people have voted for BJP. They are not getting any support from the Modi government. They are fed up with the Modi government. Whatever the aspiration was there by the Modi government, they have failed to implement the programs. So that's why people are turn towards Congress party, it will help me 
even in rural area we don't we have a very good uh, programs we have a very good development program we are already done Pro progress is going on programs are going on in the meantime five guarantees of uh, implemented in uh, karnataka very well in my constituency in rural area 95% people have received the guarantees in urban areas more than 65% people have received so people are uh, recognizing it so future also we have some plans to develop my constituency and we have to tackle some of the issues in urban and semi urban and rural area so in many of your interviews recently you have attacked dr c n manjuna saying he is a product of family politics but even the congress party has fielded many people who are sons and daughters of leaders and even you and your brother are there so isn't it a bit wrong for you uh, to attack him on no i am not attacking anybody i am not attacking anybody this is the equation what uh, janata dal is focusing janata dal devegoda ji is senior politician ex prime minister of india he himself party president of the national uh, that party mr kumar swami is the uh, state president uh, his son is a yu janata dal president the candidate uh, brother is a mla of janata dal ha huh? so another brother in law is uh, mla ex minister another brother in law son uh, is a mp another brother in law is a mlc so all they are all everybody is in janata dal now they are shifting towards bjp i don't know what is the secret you have to tell me what is the secret that they thought that this party is no more they are not people have fed up with this party that's why right. their people have this uh, even the prime minister ex prime minister and chief minister ex chief minister all have been uh, transferred towards bjp symbol that's why i'm telling mm -hmm. he is he is the son in law of devagoda he is not the candidate of himself mm -hmm. the, the party has he himself mm -hmm. mr uh, manjunath ishra himself mm -hmm. he expressed his feelings in media saying that uh, party is my cha not my choice symbol is not my choice mm -hmm. then who else mm -hmm. okay so my next question is the ram temple issue do you think it will have an impact in the lok sabha elections in karnataka in general those who are supporting bjp definitely they will tell this is for the hindutva vote mm -hmm. now we are asking for development mm -hmm. we are discussing about secularism we are secular uh, we are talking about uh, democracy in the country we are talking about constitution mm -hmm. to save constitution mm -hmm. so whatever the promises uh, modi prime minister has given mm -hmm. that he has been failed mm -hmm. now he is telling that uh, modi guarantee mm -hmm. what is the modi guarantee what promise he has made that is the modi guarantee mm -hmm. he has failed to give deliver the promises in his earlier election speech now we wanted to divert the issue for that to the worst ram mandra so it will not help the people are uh, to live they are uh, they, they are very much worried about their uh, lifestyle and uh, expensive lifestyle to live it's very difficult the gst price rise unemployment so all these things are there Uh, so my next question is uh, your brother and kpcc president mr dk shiv kumar was arrested by the ed in 2019 and many of your family members including you were questioned now just before this election two sitting chief ministers have been arrested although the central ministry is saying that uh, their agencies are doing their job and the investigations are ongoing how do you think that these arrest and ed actions are going to impact the results and the elections in general no they are taken over the all the uh, independent agencies in their hand they wanted to finish opposition party throughout the country they whoever the strong in the states and other places they wanted to fix up some of some other the cases they wanted to threaten them they wanted to take, take back to their own party once they will go to their party everybody will be clean 
the washing machine is working in BJP very well. Uh, so, the, um, for Kejriwal and other uh, Shibur Soren's son, Heman uh, Suren. So, it will, people will decide. That's why I'm telling you, it's a democratic country. Mm -hmm. We wanted to save democracy. Mm -hmm. We wanted to save constitution. Mm -hmm. We wanted to protect the Indian secularism. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sir, uh, this election is sort of a prestige battle of sorts for both the JDS, Mr. Kumar Swami, because they're fighting for the survival of their party. On the other hand, for you, Mr. D.K. Shiv Kumar, this is important because in the old Mysuru region, uh, you have to do well so that uh, Mr. D.K. Shumar emerges as a strong vocal legal leader. How do you think the results of this election is going to impact the vocal legal politics in the state? This is not the vocal legal politics. This is the Indian politics. This is the Lok Sabha election. This election is going on in all over the country in all over the states. Some states have assembly elections, some states have Lok Sabha elections. In previous election itself, people have decided, people have clear, given a clear mandate to the Congress party in the, with the leadership of uh, Mr. D.K. Shukumar and Sidra Mahaji. So that is the message already people have given. Definitely this election also, uh, people will support for our Congress government guarantees and as well as the leadership of Mr. Sidramaya. Mm -hmm. This is not the battle between mm -hmm. D.K. Shukumar or Kumar Swami. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so my next question is, uh, recently you were criticized for saying that uh, South India should be a separate country if the funds that are meant for South India are transferred towards the north. So do you think you went to the extreme end of saying a separate country and do you regret I am, saying it? I am not saying that, I am not saying that separate country. People are thinking about the separate country, this is discrimination is going on. Before that, government of India has to take a call to protect South Indian interest, mm -hmm. to protect South Indian nation as well as Karnataka, Kanadiga, Singapore. Because lot of uh, funds, uh, taxes we are paying, we are the second largest uh, taxpayers in the country. Mm -hmm. Taxpayers in the country. We are not getting, getting any benefit out of it. Mm -hmm. Past 10 years, we are not getting good development funds also. Mm -hmm. We are not getting any projects also. Mm -hmm. We are not getting you know, cleared the irrigation projects also. Mm -hmm. Like that, so many issues are there. Mm -hmm. So one side, other side, uh, the Prime Minister and Home Minister, they are taking all uh, uh, development activities towards uh, northern India. Mm -hmm. And uh, meantime, uh, they have given support to the Gujarat, it's mm -hmm. only for Gujarat and Uttar, Uttar Pradesh. Mm -hmm. So the employment opportunities, we are losing it. Mm -hmm. They are discriminating. They are taking our uh, entire uh, uh, productivity and uh, whatever the projects we have to uh, do. They are not supporting for any development activities for Bangalore. Mm -hmm. They are not giving any funds to develop Bangalore. Mm -hmm. They know a uh, lot of issues are there uh, to develop Bangalore. Still, the double, double, double engine government, they are not giving any funds. They are not giving cleared it any projects. Mm -hmm. Traffic issue is there. Drinking water issue is there. Mm -hmm. uh, unemployment issues are there. Uh, recently, I have seen, I think, uh, Gujarat has got uh, finance city, gift city, lot of exemptions they are giving. Mm -hmm. but if they give exemptions to the government, government from government of India, mm -hmm. definitely people, investors will go to the mm -hmm. that state. Mm -hmm. So, South India, what South India is paying, uh, mm -hmm. huge taxes, mm -hmm. we are losing that. Mm -hmm. We are going to lose the taxes, we are going to lose the employment, we are losing the uh, development as well as. So, this is our right mm -hmm. to ask. Mm -hmm. This is our right to ask. We are asking the rights of the Kanadigas. Mm -hmm. We are also paying taxes, huge tax money we are paying mm -hmm. from past to, to, uh, 10 years. Mm -hmm. But we are not getting any support uh, mm -hmm. towards to development, development of Karnataka. Mm -hmm. Sir, you and the other candidates, the Congress nominees are sort of banking on the guarantees of the state government. 
are you satisfied with the work of the state government the congress government in the last 11 months and also how do you think your guarantees will stand in front of the central guarantees this time no there is no central guarantees what is the central guarantees you need to tell me what is the central guarantee modi has given to the promises to the people of india mm. he has to explain what guarantee has he mm. because he know mm. in the bangalore streets mm. in karnataka campaign mm. he has told he has abused like anything about guarantees mm. now he has taken over the guarantee because guarantee will work in karnataka and other places mm. so that's why uh, modi ji has taken over the guarantee name and keep modi guarantee mm. he yeah, let it tell the yeah, modi guarantee he wanted to confuse the guarantees mm-hmm. so people are very clever mm-hmm. definitely that our guarantee will work mm-hmm. all the women are uh, happy mm-hmm. people are happy about the guarantee mm-hmm. the lifestyle is changing mm-hmm. the gdp will go up mm-hmm. the benefits will come out mm-hmm. you can see in future So my last question would be uh, the Hubli murder case, the heinous murder. Uh, the BJP is questioning the law and order situation in the state. Do you have any comments to give? No. So whatever the issue has happened, uh, we have to condemn that uh, that issue. Uh, whatever uh, whoever do criminal activities, we have to punish them. Mm-hmm. It's our bound duty to protect the interest of the state. so we have to protect the women rights so congress government is always support uh, women uh, already people go government police department have arrested them land order will take into uh, land order will under control definitely whatever the this type of activity government will not support we will not support that also so thank you for your time thank you thank you very much